G'day everyone, it's SDS Supercoach, providing Supercoach content for you. I'm here to present the Round 10 review. Massive, massive week of scoring, wasn't it? So we scored 2,616, by far my best score this year. Uh, yeah, very, very good week. Uh, and we're now ranked 3,068. Uh, top 2% total score now. Very, very happy with that. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. Oh, well, not... Not at the minute. I'm a bit hungover. Had a uh, went to a house party on Saturday night. Uh, fell asleep there. Yeah, no good. But uh, we're all good now. So, um, but now it's a good week. Super coach, watch a bit of the footy. Um, and by the way, uh, I don't know if you guys know. I support the Miami Heat. I am stoked, and I support West Ham as well. They're in the Europe, uh, Europe Conference, uh, Europa Conference League final. So. Very happy with that. So those two teams are doing well. The Hawks won. <laughs> if you told me at the start of the year that we were going to win a game by 116 points this year, I, I, I wouldn't know what to say to you because I just you're a load load of shit. When I couldn't believe 116 points, we won by 116 points. My God, that was a blast from the past, from the three peak days and all that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, no, all in all, good week, uh, except for Ben from Supercoach Insider. He totally destroyed me in draft. My draft team in this is is just shit. It's really, really bad. So, um, yeah, no, nah, no good for, for that league in draft. I'm seventh out of eighth. Uh, but everything else went well. Beat my mate Lockie in draft. Um, and, yeah, no, nah, all in all, good week. Nine out of ten league wins, I was a bit like, Really? Did someone else? Did someone actually beat me with that score? But uh, I think it was a thirty point, uh, thirty point differential there. So let's get into it. Uh, I'll stop. I'm uploading this pretty late, so I might keep this as quick as I can. So this is the team. One thing I will say is that I had a decision to be made because I heard about the Clayton Oliver hamstring news before the. Uh, Saturday night game started and I was thinking in my head um, and and same with, with uh, all these uh, the North Melbourne Sydney game a lot of rookies uh, did really well and looks like we've got three really nice downgrade options uh, next week so uh, I had the decision because I was really tempted to hold Davey and skip Humphrey because I was thinking gee I might need some extra trades next week but I just uh, with thirty seconds before the Brisbane uh, Gold Coast game, I had Davy in my side, and then I just made a last uh, ten seconds ago. I traded Davy to Humphrey, and look at that, Humphrey went mad. So you love to see it. Uh, yeah, look, I'm three K rank, so I'm so I'm in a much better spot than I was this time last year in terms of overall rank. Um, we'll see how we go long term. I'm not fully sure, but. Hopefully, we, we have a good season from here. We've only got 13 trades left, so that is a problem. But if we're upgrading and downgrading our players, then I don't think that's a problem. So, um, yeah, anyway, let's get into it. Tom Stewart, 91, solid. Um, he's been really good for us this year, so you can't complain. Dacos, 100, uh, good day for the pies there. It's Jack Sinclair, wasn't this a graveyard 440 time slot uh, dream? Jack Sinclair, 160. I couldn't believe it. I was like, holy shit. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Uh, so, yeah, I got him in, not this week, last week. I, by the way, I didn't say what trades. Sorry, I'm <laughs> a bit all over the shop here. Uh, what trades did we do? We brought in Sharp. We brought in Humphrey. And we brought in Andy Brayshaw. Uh, for uh, Hopper. Chandler and Davey. So, and got 121k in the bank. So, Jack Sinclair was just immense. Uh, Sheasel, uh, when I was watching this game, I watched a bit of the Saturday afternoon games, more the North Melbourne Sydney game, just because it was a better game, uh, like closer game. But uh, Sheasel was a bit all over the place. I don't know what it seemed to you guys. I saw him on the wing, I saw him CBAs, half back, half forward. He was a bit all over the place, but 112, can't complain. Uh, this is concerning me, Will Day, 74. Now, there aren't many negatives whatsoever this week. 
But uh, just to nitpick a bit, Day, I'm not too certain on. Uh, can I trade him? No. Um, I'm already tight enough on trades as it is at the minute. So, um, yeah, look, it's a bit concerning, this Will Day pick. I, unfortunately, I think I'm just going to have to stick with him because uh, the only way I can get rid of him is a luxury upgrade. I'd rather Sicily, but whatever. Um, hopefully, Day can just average 95 plus. Can he give us 95 plus somehow from here? I hope so. Like, 95 plus isn't a disaster average for the rest of the year. Uh, Seamus Mitchell, Grouse, 82. Really good uh, young bloke we've got there for the Hawks. Uh, Speaking of young blokes for the Hawks, Josh Weddle, he was fantastic to watch. 28 touches, intercepts the mark, runs all day. Uh, yeah, I really like really like Josh Weddle. He's he's already made 100K, showing some good signs. Glad we picked him up at 130K. Uh, Chin Cotter got dropped. Very disappointing. Um, I'm not going to trade him just yet. I'm going to hope that he somehow comes back to the side because... I think they should be playing him, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a bit biased with my super coach team. Uh, so, I had the op- so I had the decision to make whether I... Uh, because full-time, Clayton Oliver was on 113. Uh, and I was thinking, okay, I'll just have to captain Bond. But he got scaled up an extra seven points. I'm like, 120, yeah, we'll play it safe. I'll take it. I'm glad I, glad I did, I guess, because I was going to captain Bond. 112, extra 16 points there for me. Uh, yeah, Bont was alright. He had a little le- left knee issue, so whatever. Uh, yeah, and Oliver was solid, but he's he's uh, pinged his hammy. Might be there for a month. Bloody, bloody disappointing. Him and Day were the only two negatives uh, from what it seems. So, yeah, Oliver's done his hamstring. Um, I've got some decisions to make there. Um, I'll talk to you guys about trades after this, um, if I make any. Uh, Roy Laird, I assume, yeah, everyone's going to be picking up this week, and as you should, uh, might be the cheapest he gets all year. So, Roy Laird, 145, great to see him bounce back uh, after a few pretty average weeks. Tom Green, 119, continues to be extremely sol- solid, very happy to have him. Zach Merritt, 162, goes bang. He goes bang. You love to see it, and he should... He should towel up a few of these uh, teams right here. So I'm very happy with Zach Merritt, 162. Terrific. Uh, Andy Brayshaw, 134. Brought him in. I wasn't super thrilled about it, but um, he went really well, 134. And I think if Frio continue to play better footy, I think that's really going to help Andy Brayshaw. So for, for this Brayshaw pick to work, we need Frio to do well. Um, Will Ashcroft, 124, beautiful, beautiful. Going to make a little bit more coin. He's at 400K, nine break even, beautiful. You love to see with the Will Ashcroft. It says, I could be wrong, it says first uh, turn of the year. No, no, he scored a, no, sorry, I'm being stupid, but easily his best, best uh, score for the year. Now, Harry Sharp, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why, I'll, I'll tell you my cool process here with benching Humphrey, uh, but fielding, uh, looping Sharp and Simpson. So Sam Simpson went shit, pretty bad pick, uh, it seems now. Um, so it was mainly for the loop. So uh, so if we checked at round 10, obviously the Frio Geelong game was at 4.35. Um, Sam Simpson scored a 20, pretty bad. Uh, so I'm just like, no, nah, I'll, ta- I'll go with Sharp. So I couldn't actually do the loop if I had Humphrey. Now, look, to be honest... I actually probably would have fielded Sam Simpson straight up if I didn't do that. So I feel pretty blessed about that. But obviously it's disappointing how, having Humphrey on the bench and Weddle on the bench, but uh, you can't, can't predict everything to go well. So Sharp 47 got subbed out. It was looking at a solid score, but he got subbed out. I hope, I hope Brisbane keep playing him. Fagan literally said he needs to get more games into him. So I'd be disappointed if he got dropped, but uh, he could now. Sam Simpson probably gets dropped. Uh, dud pick. Yeah. Nah, 20. Barely saw him all game. So, oh, my leg was numb. All right. Matt Johnson was a sub. For, so, for him to go at 37, I'm fairly happy with that. Constable getting delisted uh, at the end of the year. 
Tim English, 118. So he's just slowed down a tad, but at, at 118, very solid. Um, yeah, yeah, keep it up, Timmy. Uh, Man was the skipper. Uh, he's been a good captain this year. I don't think I'll start a loop next year now, just due to how easy it is to get a dead rookie. Uh, Rowan Marshall, 126. Very good, very good. I thought Briggs did all right against him, but Marshall, a lot of quality. Uh, yeah, this is turning out to be a good saying pick. Uh, Josh Dunkley, 153. Just so many massive scores. How about Zach Butters, by the way? Um, I could have picked up Zach Butters last week, but um, just didn't really work with my buys. So I think he's like 620K now, just too expensive. I won't get him. Um, as we've seen with all these blokes that get up to this really high price, they at some point, they usually just drop right down. Um, Josh Dunkley, 153. Tremendous. Didn't really watch this game. I didn't watch the Saturday night games because I was at the house party. Uh, Tim Durant, 118. He's super consistent, isn't he? Uh, he, he really lets you down. Uh, Jack Zebel, 88. Down week, but we'll forgive the king. He's been tremendous. Uh, been a tremendous pickup. Same with Golden. It's all right, mate. You've given us two really, really good scores. So, um, yeah, 96, solid. Zebel, 88, all right. Uh, Connor Rosie, 140. These Port Adelaide midfielders, they're going to have Rosie. Horn, Francis, and Butters in their midfield for the next however long. That's going to be sensational for Port Adelaide. So they've set themselves up for the future with that midfield. 140, very good. Uh, Asav Radagalia, 75, very good again. Uh, very solid. Um, I'll talk to you about my trade plans, but he could be involved. Uh, Bailey Humphrey, 101. Shame I had him on the bench, but it's just good to have him. He should be playing throughout the buys. And yeah, he looks really good. And Roberts is, of course, injured. So, all right, trades. Now, I was originally thinking, until I heard the Oliver news, that um, no trades this week. But I am not against holding Clayton Oliver because I don't think it's that bad if you hold him. And with me with 13 trades, like, it's pretty low. The only way I will trade Oliver is if I can... Uh, it would be Oliver and Radical Leader to two premiums where I'm still upgrading the side. So I'm thinking, okay, that's not too bad. So I'm still getting one less rookie off the field and getting in two premiums. So uh, that's what I'm thinking. But I I could easily just go, nah, you know what? Let's hold fire. But Radical Leader, I don't really want to trade him out. But if I want to keep upgrading the side, if, and if Oliver is out for a month, that's kind of bad. But I was thinking of maybe holding him because I don't know how I'd get him back in this year. And look, to be honest, I'm not sure if I'll see Oliver again in my side this year. So, um, so Oliver. So I was thinking maybe Oliver and Radigalia to two premiums because it's just enough. I wanted to do Sam Simpson, but uh, that's not going to be enough. So Radigalia is super solid, but as you can see, I've got like a few rookies on the bench here where I'm happy to loop or field them like Humphrey and Weddle. So. I don't think it's a disaster getting rid of Radicalia. What hurts is um, getting rid of that ruck cover. But I would plan to probably get in. Here's what I'm thinking with my... Um, let's go through trades first. All right. Now, I don't really know. I think Lockie Neal is probably the guy to get here. Then after that, I don't really know who I'd get. Like, maybe Sicily. Maybe Sicily and Neil. So maybe something like this. 25k in the bank. Could do something like that. Neil isn't good. Uh, sorry, Sicily and Day. The same buy plus Day cost isn't that great. And I'm not sure about this actually now because if I'm going to get uh, Jordan Dawson, who's thankfully dropping in price, I'm like, okay, I can plan to get him in now. I kind of want to leave a slot open for him. I've still got two midfield slots. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking, but I don't think I'll go Sicily. I've kind of talked myself out of it because I've got Day. Uh, I've got Day cost. If I want to get in Dawson soon, then yeah. Um. Okay, okay. So maybe something like this, but maybe not Sicily. It can be... Um. I think I have a couple of spare slots with that round 14 buy, so... Wonder if I could get in a midfielder with that. Um, 
I wonder if I can get in a midfielder with that buy. So that would be like Essendon. Oh, I guess I can move, just have Dawson in the midfield. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, so maybe something like that. Look, we'll just do this for now. Just give you guys a bit of a clear image in your head on what I could look to do if I do trade Oliver. Or I could just hold five for another week. Oh, why is that? What's wrong? What's happened? Why can't I do this? Thank you. I need to invest in a desk. Like, this is so uncomfortable. So maybe something like this. That looks all right. Uh, three more upgrades to go with 11 trades. Um, but we'll go back to this. I want to tell you guys, like, what I'm sort of planning for the rest of my upgrades. Um, so now with Dawson dropping in price, so he is 618,000 with a 173 break even. He, I mean, obvious, I mean, unless he goes absolutely nuts against Brisbane, but uh, what's his projected? Like a 106. Um, yeah, he, he could be, we could be looking at him being at like 595k and he is a certain target that I need to try to grab. So, Dawson is a guy I'm certainly going to try to get now. I thought I was kind of just about to give up because it's like, gee, Dawson's never dropping in price. But there we go. So that's what we need so we can get Dawson in. So how am I finishing this side? So I think the last defender here, I think it's Jordan Dawson. So I think I'll skip Sicily this year. Sucks a bit because Sicily's really turning it on now. But um, because I think Sicily does better now with, um, Sicily does better with uh, an extra key defender in the side, so he's more freed up a bit. So he's freed up a bit more. Um, so Dawson certainly here. They've got the same buy, so that's why I'm kind of like, eh, I'd rather go Dawson. So I think Dawson next buy. Uh, sorry, yeah, he's certainly the defensive upgrade for sure. I think in the midfield, I don't really know, but in the forward line. I'll, just before I record this video, I, was, I had a mini look at Eno's um, team review, and apparently Walsh might not actually get uh, DPP, which I was like, whoa, really? Like, I, I watched quite a bit of the game, but I didn't really think, oh, wow. So now he's at the risk of not getting it. So um, if that's the case, I'll probably get Gorn, and I'd probably, I, I wouldn't mind if Walsh didn't get it because it's one less headache or one less bloke I'm going to have to miss. So, I'm thinking Dawson, Gorn. I know Gorn went pretty shit, but that's all right. Gorn or Cameron, uh, see who's looking better. Gorn or Darcy Cameron for this last slot here so we can have a um, bit of ruck forward DPP action. So probably Gorn. Gorn's got a ridiculous ceiling. Um, and then for the midfield, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Hmm. Uh, yeah, to be honest, I'm not really that sure with, the midfield. I mean, Lockie Neal this week is super tempting now. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Uh, that's just early thoughts. I haven't checked too much on anything for Supercoach in general. So let's have a look at the leagues. So I won 9 out of 10 leagues. So that's good. All right. Let's check SDS Supercoach. Um, so I beat Jake there. So that's a good win there. Um and the SCS Times Pro League. Grace's Secret. Now, I believe you are you are first in this league. So I might have overtaken her. Him. Uh, no, but we have evened it up a bit. So, all right. So that's going all right. Who's... So, what, so 388th best uh, league. So that's good. Ryan's doing really well. Shout out to him. Jono, shout out to him. Dan, Daniel, yeah, so a lot of good stuff there by everyone there. And then in the SDS league, I'm first. Uh, no surprises. No, kidding. No, kidding. Uh, Riley's doing really well. Yep. Uh, shout out to Riley. All, all you guys are doing good. Yep. Love to see it. All right. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it there, guys. I uh, hope this was probably quite long. But yeah, look. Um, hope you guys had a really good week. It was a high scoring week this week. So I hope you guys did score well, went up in the ranks. Hope your footy team won. So thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Cheers. Have a good night. Bye.